Hi, I'm Colin from Spaceflight Made Simple, and today I want to bring you guys a quick video about tomorrow's Soyuz launch. Soyuz will be carrying the unmanned Soyuz MS-23 spacecraft to the International Space Station. This mission will launch from Site-31-6 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. T0 for this mission is 7.24 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. Like all Soyuz launches, this mission will begin with the ignition of the first stage of the Soyuz booster approximately seven seconds before liftoff, and at T0, the four green hold-down arms will release the rocket, and it will roar from the pad. Approximately two minutes into flight, the four boosters that make up the first stage of the Soyuz rocket will have expended all of their fuel, and they will be jettisoned. Shortly after those boosters are jettisoned, the fairings protecting the spacecraft will no longer be needed, and they too will be separated from the vehicle. Eventually, the core stage, or second stage, of the Soyuz booster will have expended all of its fuel, and it too will be let loose in a process known as hot staging, where the engine on the third stage is ignited as the second stage stage is separated. The engine on the third stage of the Soyuz booster will continue to burn until nine minutes after liftoff, when it too will have expended all of its fuel and will be separated from the vehicle, leaving the Soyuz spacecraft floating freely in a preliminary orbit. Soyuz will then deploy its solar panels and antennas and begin making its way to the International Space Station. Soyuz will arrive at the International Space Station a few days later on Saturday afternoon. Approaching from underneath the space station and using its own RCS thrusters to navigate itself to its docking port, Soyuz will dock with the Nadir-facing port on the Prashant module, which is on the bottom of the space station. Docking itself is slated for 8.01 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, February 25th, 2023. So why exactly are they sending an unmanned Soyuz spacecraft to the International Space Station? Well, Soyuz MS-23 is being sent to replace Soyuz MS-22, which was damaged by a micrometeorite strike. While the spacecraft is still intact and attached to the International Space Station, there are concerns about its safety as a return vehicle, and as such, the decision was made to simply send up a replacement vehicle, that being Soyuz 23. So Soyuz MS-23 is launching unmanned, but will return with three crew members on board, at a later date. So if you'd like to keep up with the Soyuz MS-23 mission, I'll leave some links down below that can help you with that. First off, I'll leave a link to NASA's YouTube channel, where they'll live stream both the launch and the docking, and I'll also leave a link to my Twitter, where I'll post up-to-date information on this mission, as well as other upcoming events in spaceflight. And if you have any questions about the Soyuz booster, or the Soyuz spacecraft, or the International Space Station itself, you can leave them down in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them there. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon, so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for spaceflight, made simple. I'm Colin, and I will see you next time.